back out fishing, back at Old Mill Lakes, back on Birch Lake. This time I'm in a swim called Snowies, plotted up in the corner here. Got the wind pushing straight into my face. It is a bit overcast, there's been a bit of drizzle and hopefully this will stir the fish into feeding and I can sneak something out. It's fairly busy, there was nine anglers on in total, so I didn't have a great deal to choose from and I've had a good fish out this corner on previous sessions and you know I like no cap corner opposite I do like this corner and I like a lot of swims on the new side to be fair so yeah I thought I'd come in here see what happens spoke to the lad next door he's seen the odd fish sort of round the island and sort of in the weed and there's a bit of weed just off the edge of that bush as well so yeah I thought this this might be a good spot and Fingers crossed, this 48 hours I can sneak something out. So right, I'll show you where I've got my rods. Right, the right hand rod is towards that lighter bush just there. The middle rod is on the going spot, which is at the back of that bush there. And the left hand rod is towards the marker post just in front of that island just sat on the shelf I have walked round down the bank there back of them bushes and I've set to it with a catapult I have not put a massive amount in probably 100 baits around the three rods so you know, I'm just trying a little bit more of a softer baiting option this trip the last couple of trips I've sort of turned up found a spot and just filled it in and this time I'm, I'm I'm just gonna go a bit softly softly and feel my way into it and if I if I sneak something out then I'll put more in but just for the first 24 hours I'm gonna see how I get on I'm not gonna go absolutely mad with the bait at the minute on all three rods I'm fishing two on the urban bait red spicy fish and one on the urban milk cracker giving them a try this trip both wafter hook baits so hopefully that'll do the do and I can sneak something out I do like the, the look of the red spicy fish a lot of saz goes in here which is a red bait and it's very close to that being a fish meal based bait just like the saz and hopefully the fish will get into it get down and have a bit of a munch on it and I can catch something on the urban baits wafters which would be nice it's looking it is looking promising out there I mean I had seen a couple of fish as I come round but that was in front of 30s but somebody was already fishing that and somebody was going straight in as soon as they was leaving so it wasn't really an option but I do think that the weed bed that's out here around that island tends to hold fish so I'm not a million miles away from them and I say under that bush there there is a bit of patches of weed here and there as well so I'm in with a good shout I'm in the zone and we're here for 48 hours and there's every chance something good could happen but yeah it is looking really really good out there it sure is and it's like I say it's the first time for me trying the urban baits on here I know a lad that does fish for urban and he does quite well on here and I had the opportunity to join team urban baits and I have done so I do get my baits now at a discounted rate which is really really good and I'm so sort of pretty happy with the deal and hopefully I can keep catching like I was really like using the Trent baits and the SAS. So hopefully changing bait companies doesn't affect affect my catch results, but time will tell. See where we are in twelve months. See how we're getting on. And hopefully, like I say, I'm still catching plenty. But saying that, to be honest, my last two trips on here were both blanks but it was quite moody conditions when I was here and not fishing particularly well so that's my excuse but this trip 
it looks right, it looks promising, wind pushing into my face, overcast, very, very carpy conditions. Right, I'm going to stop waffling, have a drink, chill out, and keep watching the water. It's 20 to 9 at night now, starting to get dark, it's been a mega quiet day, I've had that one liner on the left hand rod towards the island, and apart from that, nothing else, I've not seen anything, not heard anything, and I've been watching, a lot. I can see a lot of water out in front there, so just seen absolutely diddly. And as far as I'm aware, nobody's caught since I've been here either. So, yeah, it's a bit strange really. Conditions seem great. Pressure's low. It's overcast. It's windy. It's warm. It just seems absolutely perfect cap conditions. And nothing's happening. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on. I'm going to call it a day and not film any more now unless i catch something but you never know while them rods are out there there's every chance one can go ripping off but failing that guys i'll catch back up with you in the morning 20 past five in the morning not had a single bleep all night i have heard a fish bosh out a really big one sort of that sounded like it come from sort of that direction but apart from that mega quiet but it is prime bite time now so yeah i'm gonna give it till sort of nine ten something like that and make a decision what i'm gonna do keep watching the water might move because apart from hearing that one fish I haven't seen anything, so it's a really, really tough one, but it's, hey, it's Friday now, so I don't know how many people are coming on, so I might not have many options to move, but I'm just going to suck it and see today, see what happens, but my pal's fishing right at the other end of the lake, I'm going to give it a bit, give him a message and see if he's seen anything, and maybe it's worth a move down that end who knows but at the minute i'm just camping but it does look good look how flat cam it is like a mill pond so if the fish were there you'd like to think they'd be easy to spot but yeah we'll see we will see but it looks epic while them rods are there on the dance floor, there is every chance something can happen. Right, I'm going to have the first brew of the morning. Chill out, watch the water, and come up with a plan of action. Right, it's about 12 o'clock now. Them rods have been out around 24 hours more than. And it's time to get them redone. I've come up with a bit of a plan this morning. I'm going to bait so two and a half key up in a big line down that margin fish from here 17 wraps to that and just see if i can pick something up doing that looks absolutely lovely out there sun is blazing it's a glorious day it looks absolutely epic but fishing wise a couple of stock has been out and a couple of lads have lost a couple of fish as well so it's not for fishing particularly well the other two rods i'm going to keep the one at the bush and in front of the island I'm going to redo them and I'm just going to put a light scattering, maybe 50 baits over each, that's all, and see what happens. But yeah, I'll get them rods done, and fingers crossed, this new change, something happens, and I can sneak a fish out in the remain, in the last 24 hours anyway. 
happy days. Right, it's five o'clock now, and as you can see out there, I've moved. My pal's in steps one, he caught fish, he lost the fish. I come round here for a look, see a few, a couple of fish in shallow bay. I thought, right, I'm coming down here, and I've plotted up in steps one. Flicked me right hand rod down there, I didn't want to set up in shallow bay on top of them, I thought I'll fish and swim next to them, just cast up, and then the other two, middle rod, right hand rod fish that back of the island there so yeah it's uh, got a right sweat on now in this heat as well but my dash I was humming an hour in shall I shout out I thought every time I'm thinking shall I move and I don't move I end up blanking when I stay put and over there in snow is I'd not seen anything it had been mega quiet I'd heard one since I've been here so I thought I've got a good what what we got 16 hours of the session left put the effort in effort equals reward usually you're moving it often pays off so fingers crossed big time that it pays off but yeah lovely little swim this one i shall show you around right that's willow lake right at the back there another lovely water one bonus for being in this swim i'm a little bit closer to the car park but yeah, they're nice swims these. I forgot how nice they were. Just since Chris has dug the lake out and extended that new new side, I've just continuously fished there. I've not fished the old side at all. And you know, I don't know why it's all intimate, little chucks. I bet I'm only fishing about what is it to that far bank? Eight wraps, seven wraps, something like that. It's not far anyway. So I'm fishing all three, semi slack. Bobbin's dangling down, look. But yeah, how lovely does that look out there? And I'm, as I'm getting closer to the water, I'm just trying to keep the noise down because, like I say, I have seen fish down there. I think Mick's in. Yes, mate! Right, I'm on my way. He's in. Grab me receiver. I've definitely done the right thing moving down here. And hopefully I can sneak a fish out myself, but nice little path as well, nice and close to me pal. Which is always a bonus. Here he is, the top angler. I was just doing some filming, mate, so I'm going to keep it on and film you playing it, if that's all right. Or oh, is it in that channel? <laughs> Does it feel like a good one? Cool. That's about three bites in an hour, that, innit? That's good. Yeah, you can count. It's not uh, uh, just because it was a two pounder. It don't matter. It still counts. <laughs> Hopefully it's uh, one of the 18, mate. Oh, look at that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I hope it is a two pounder because that'll be funny because it's <laughs> do a right merry dance. See, you keep catching on here, mate, don't you? Let's see.
bending that rod. That sun's blinding, isn't it? I was cast into that back island, I could hardly see anything. Right, same. So we'll just bring that other rig. Glasses off. Leaders are in shot off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about getting the last one in and, and tea on. <laughs> yeah, same. Hey, Been a tea supper again. Mad dash. She's hurt. She's fighting very good. Oh, that's getting bigger and bigger the more I see it. <laughs> well done, mate. What a stunning 33 pound, 33 pounder. Black as you're at. Yeah, thank you, darling. <laughs> Go on. Can't believe how black that was. <laughs> well done, mate. Spot on, mate. Cool. Right, it's half past eight at night. Check that all out there. Flat calm. Here are the odd fish. So, pretty, pretty confident I've made the right move. So, moving, but yeah, hopefully it pays off usually does when your gut's telling you you're not feeling it where you are and when you put the effort in and move somewhere else you generally sneak one out don't you so yeah it's looking good out there i'm not going to do any more filming tonight unless i actually catch one failing that guys and catch back up with you in the morning right buzzing this one 39 pound plus. Check that out. Oh, it's had loads of fight. It won't play nicely for the photos and it wants to go, so check that out. Buzzing. Not gonna moan at that one. Yes. <coughs> Thanks for your help, buddy. No problem. Oh. Nice wake up call at R5, mate, isn't it? Absolutely buzzing. What a blank saver. £39 plus. Made up with that one on the D rig. That one was caught from the back of the island there. And what a fight as well. Just a couple of bleeps, shot out to it. See the line pulling up tight. Hit into it. And it kited behind the little island just to the right. So put the rod tip down. Load of left side strain on it. Come from behind the island. And then it tried to get into shallow bay, add down the right, and there's loads of weed in there. And it snagged me up in some weed. And I'm like, oh no, everything was solid again. Buried the rod tip, load of side strain on it, and it just started coming. And it just gets steadily wind, 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 wind. And yeah, got it under the rod tip, banging about, and then scoop, buzzing. I knew it was a big fish. It was like, what a fight buzzing made up i really am on cloud nine with that one so happy days rods back out back tight to that island so there is every chance in what have i got left uh three and a half hours you never know if they've turned up i could sneak another one out of so i've rebaited put 20 30 baits around it i ain't gone mad because it's early morning and it's prime bite time and there's fish about i don't want to spook anything off so i just baited very lightly this morning and yeah happy days oh, still rushing still buzzing gonna have a drink chill out get tidied up and you never know might sneak another happy days it's quarter past nine got an hour and a quarter left still every chance can sneak another one the wind's got up and it's got quite cool actually it was cold this morning coldest it's been since i've been here but yeah, I am absolutely buzzing. I'm still over the moon now. What a blank saver. <laughs> Nearly 40 pound. It's like, pfft, what a fish and what a fight. And just, just 
everything about that capture was just great the fact that i was fishing the other end of the lake struggling decided tea time yesterday to make the move put the effort in made the move come down here rods out a few bleeps through the night through liners up and down a few times through the night and then yeah a few bleeps on that left hand rod it's into it leads me on a merry dance goes behind that little island there get it in front of there in front of me in front of the island and then it plods down to the right into a weed bed snags me up in the weed everything's solid for a couple of minutes and then a bit more side strain tipping the rod tip low in the water and it started coming and just just everything went over me right hand rod as well it was like just absolute bedlam but yeah for sure it has been worth it but yeah it's been epic i loved it and let's see if we can sneak another one out while i do the slow steady pack up right got 20 minutes left still got the rods out there just got the bivvy left to pack down but yeah it's unlikely i'll catch any more but i'm not bothered what a blank saver i've had and it's been a mega trip really enjoyed it the way things have worked out it's been absolutely brilliant i mean to be sat in the corner across there knowing it's not going to happen and thinking last minute getting towards tea time right i'm going to move i'm coming down here and the amount of times i've done that i put the effort in and moved and the move has always paid off handsomely i've done it loads of times on birch and yeah i need to going forward not be as lazy and make sure i always move about if i'm not feeling it because it just pays off all the time but anyway right i'm gonna stop waffling been a great trip really enjoyed it thanks ever so much for watching thanks to everybody who's hit that subscribe button lately the channel is growing coming along nicely and it's massively appreciated i'm really humbled and can't be grateful enough i really can't i do appreciate every subscriber every comment i do reply to everybody every like i hit it really makes me day it really really does i will drop a subscribe button there if you could hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel it's greatly appreciated guys take care tight lines see you on the next one